We need to train our um, train and uh, raise our kids to be responsible because it's part of society anyway. We're going to have to evolve into Western culture because um, village life is um, limited as far as subsistence. So it pulls me both ways. As long as you're old enough to um, consume alcohol, every person should have that right. It should be a personal, a personal um, preference. You know, when you're with friends and stuff, it's, it's 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 a fun time. You get to visit with your friends. You get to tell stories. You get to um, socialize. You know, share ideas, meet new people, make acquaintances, um, broaden businesses, whatever. To me, it's unfortunate that the negative stuff really gets. Um, majority of the yeah, attention. And, and the responsible parents are going to still remain responsible anyway. I mean, it's, it comes down to parenting, you know, if, if you support your kids in school and make sure, you know, that's that's your priority, is to educate your kids and, and make sure they go to school on time. That priority is always going to be there. It's five days a week, you know, uh, <laughs> with all due respect to the elders, you know, for it to remain um, dry. I think it's time for a change. And um, that's just the way I feel, and it's my opinion. The person that initiated the, uh, the petition um, is, is really getting some um, backlash from the community, the members that want to keep it dry. Yeah, there is a lot of bad feedback that will be hitting her pretty soon. She hasn't faced the public yet about the subject, but once she does at the public meeting, I know there will be a lot of complaints on her. They're just judging her just because she wants the petition to be passed. They don't see her for her. They see her as a bad person bringing alcohol to the village. I don't think she brought it to bring badness to people. It was just for an occasional drink, not to party, party, party. But the older generation doesn't know that. They just see bad news coming to town. If they're doing it the way I think they are, with only beer and wine, no hard liquor, I think it should be good. But with the younger generation, I know they'll find their ways to get more than what they're limited to. The younger generation, they talk about it so much, and once they start talking about it, the older generation kind of puts them down because they want it, but the older generation doesn't. And you can tell by the ones that are so open about voting yes, the people around them give them funny looks. It used to be wet a long time ago, and the ones that are still alive are, I bet they'll go back to their old ways. I'm more on the vote of no, but it's cool if it does. I'm cool with it. <laughs> I really want to, but I can't, because I just had a son a few months ago, and I don't want all the craziness around him, but if it passes, then I'm fine with it. If the vote does pass for alcohol to be legalized in Shishmarap, we will see a more busy community, maybe. There'll be more parties going on every week, maybe every day, and it doesn't happen. We don't see parties every single week here. We keep active by going out to get ready to hunt, by going to work, by bringing our kids to school our kids participating in school activities or hunting activities, boating trips, camping trips. The atmosphere in Shishmaraf would change. We would, we would see more people intoxicated on a frequent basis. We would be more alert of our safety awareness of ourselves and our family, our friends, children mostly. We were still learning coping skills to deal with frustrations and disappointment or communication skills, you know, that are good and healthy. We're still working on those. And it's a learning process, you know, up until we're elders to deal with frustrations and disappointment and relationship issues. And if alcohol is legalized in Shishmaraf, Binge drinking will occur more often, and the anger and the unresolved grief and the hurt and pains there, they are gonna come come out through. Through the alcohol use, so I'm afraid, I'm afraid to see this happen if it does pass. 
they have their mind set on voting yes, as a few of them. And whether I tell ex of experiences or stories that I know of, they have their mind set to vote yes. I, I feel the vote is going to be close, but I hope it will remain dry.